Good morning, dear students. This is part one of chapter seven, algebra. Algebra is a branch of mathematics where letters, alphabets, to generalize or to represent unknown quantities. Here, we use letters like A, B, C, P, Q, R, X, Y, Z, etc. These letters represent unknown numbers and are called variables. You remember the term variables. Let us consider a rectangle with length 6 cm and breadth b cm. It means we have a variable a b which represents the breadth of the rectangle. Therefore, the perimeter is equal to sum of the lengths of all sides of the rectangle a b c d if we represent the perimeter with uh, the alphabet p then p is equal to sum of all the sides of the rectangle that is 6 centimeter plus b centimeter plus 6 centimeter plus b centimeter here we have to add 2 b centimeters and 2 6 centimeters so 6 plus 6 is equal to 12 centimeter and b plus b 2 b's so it is twice b 2 into b here b is called literal or variable operations on literals and numbers so how to do the mathematical operation that is plus minus multiplication and division with the literals and numbers number a addition of literals and numbers when we shall add literal and numbers listen carefully when we shall add literals and numbers so you have to check some words carefully i have underlined the important words with a red line number one five added to x added means you have to put a plus sign between five and x i have written in the right side x plus five number two five more than x more represent plus operator that means it is addition so if i represent it with literals and numbers it will be x plus 5 number 3 x increased by 5 x is increased by 5 it will be represented as x plus 5 increase means addition or sum Number four, sum of x and five. So sum, the word sum also represents plus or addition between literals and numbers. So it will be x plus five. The next topic is subtraction of literals and numbers. So here to uh, show the uh, subtraction, we have to use some uh, words I have underlined the words with red line you check carefully number one decrease a by 8 if you write it in literals and numbers it will be a minus 8 number two 8 less than a so less also represents subtraction so if I use numerals and uh, literals it will be a minus 8 number 3 subtract 8 from a subtract means minus so it will be a minus 8 number 4 a is diminished by 8 diminished means lessen so 8 is uh, subtracted from a the line uh, means in simple English so it will be a minus 8 8 is taken away from X taken away means subtracted 
so it will be x minus 8. Number 3 multiplication of literals and numbers. Number 1 the product of 3 and p. So the product the word it means multiplication. So the product of 3 and p will be 3 into p. 3 times p. So the word times also represents a multiplication. It will be 3 into p. Multiply p by 3. Multiply multiplication of p and 3. That is 3 into p. Number 4. Division of literals and numbers. Number 1. X is divided by 3. So here the word divided is used. So you can see it is equal to x by 3. Number 2. Quotient of x by 3. So it will also represent a division of literals and numbers. Now let us solve some problems from exercise 7.1. Question number 1. Write the following using numbers, literals and signs of basic operations. Number 1 is given as 1 sixth of sum of A and B. 1 sixth is 1 by 6 of as you know from rule of board mass of represents a multiplication. So 1 by 6 of is multiplication sum is plus sum of what a and b so it will be 1 by 6 into a plus b a plus b will be inside brackets number 2 5 times x less than 19 so 5 times x times uh, is a multiplication so 5 into x how much is it is less than 19 so it will be 19 minus 5 into x equal to 19 minus 5x number 3 8 more than 3 times x more is plus times is multiplication so it will be 8 plus 3 into x which is 8 plus 3x. Number 4, 13 subtracted from thrice x. Thrice means 3 times. So, it means 13 is subtracted from 3 times x. So, it will be 3 into x minus 13 equal to 3x minus 13. Number 5, 3 times x divided by 2 times y. So, 3 times x is 3 into x divided is division by what? 2 in 2 times y, 2 into y. So, it is 3x divided by 2y equal to 3x divided by 2y. Number 6, 6 multiplied by x decreased by 7. So, x is decreased by 7. It means before decreasing, we have to multiply uh, x by 6. So, it will be 6 into x decreased is minus. So, it is minus 7. 6x minus 7. Algebraic expressions. A collection of constants and literals connected by one or more signs of operations that is plus, minus, multiplication and division is called algebraic expression. Example, 5y plus 5 is an algebraic expression where y is unknown literal so it is called variable plus sign is operator sign and 5 is constant. The several parts of an expression separated by plus or minus sign are called the terms. 
So in case of 5y plus 5, we have two terms 5y and 5. 5y and 5 is are separated by plus operator or plus sign. In a product of numbers and literals, any of the factor is called the coefficient. In 5y plus 5, 5y is 5 into y. So, 5 is called numerical coefficient of y because 5 is a number. So, it is called numerical coefficient of y. You listen carefully. And y is literal coefficient of 5. y is a letter. So, it is called literal coefficient of 5. Like and unlike terms. Two or more terms having the same variables are called like terms. Two or more terms with different variables are called unlike terms. Example, we have 2x minus 3x minus 2 by uh, 3x are like terms because though the coefficient, coefficient uh, numerical coefficients are different, the variables are same. So, all the three expressions are like terms or three expressions or three terms are like terms. The same way 10x, 15y minus 13z are unlike terms because x, y and z are different variables. Powers of literals. When a quantity is multiplied by itself any number of times, the product is called a power of that quantity. If x into x into x into x, I have multiplied four x's. I shall write it as equal to x to the power 4. 4 is written above x in the right side. We have to read this as x raised to the power 4. Here x is called base and 4 is called power. You should know what is base and what is power. Examples number 1 x into x into x into x into x. Here we can see we have multiplied 5 x's. So it will be x to the power 5. Number 2, 3 into x into x into y into y into y. So it will be equal to 3. We have multiplied 2 x's. So x to the power 2. Here 3 y's are multiplied. So it will be y to the power 3. So the final expression will be 3 x to the power 2 y to the power 3 to find the value of algebraic expressions so we are given some values to the variables and we have to find the value of the expressions or we have to evaluate the expressions if a equal to 1 b equal to 2 c equal to minus 2 find the value of number 1 3a plus 5b and number 2 a to the power 2 plus b to the power 2 minus c into b number 1 we have two variables here a and b so a is equal to 1 b is equal to 2 Therefore, putting the values of A and B in their respective places. 3A plus 5B is equal to 3 into 1 plus 5 into 2. Which is equal to 3 plus 10 equal to 13. Number 2. A to the power 2 plus B to the power 2 minus C into B. Putting A equal to 1 b equal to 2 c equal to minus 2 we get 
a square is equal to a into a plus b square is b into b minus c into b so in place of a into a that is 1 into 1 plus in place of b into b 2 into 2 minus in place of uh, c it is minus 2 and in place of b it is 2 so 1 into 1 is 1 2 into 2 is 4 minus 2 into minus 2 is minus 4 so it is equal to 1 plus 4 plus 4 minus minus it will be plus 4 which is equal to 9 let us solve some problems from exercise 7.2 Question number one, you have to write the numerical coefficients of the expression. Numerical coefficients, the number associated with the variables. So, I have shown you 6 x to the power 4 plus 5 x cube minus 2 x plus 7. Here, we have numbers 6, 5, minus 2 and 7. So, 6, 5, minus 2 and 7 are numerical coefficients. Number 2. We have to write the terms of the expression. Terms are separated by plus or minus sign. So, 2x minus 3y. 2x and 3y is separated by minus sign. So, 2x and 3y are the terms. Question number 3, you have to write the coefficient of x. Coefficient of x, you have to see where x lies in the expression. I can see that 4xy, here we can see 1x. So, the coefficient will be 4 and y. So, Coefficient of x is 4y. You cannot write uh, the coefficient to be 2y because it is associated with x square. We do not need x square. We need only x. So, you check where is x and you have to write the coefficient associated with x. Question number 5. You have to check the like terms and write it down x square comma y square comma minus 3 x square plus y cube comma 4x so like terms like variables x square and minus 3 x square are the like terms so homework you do from exercise 7.1 question number one you try all the sums from there and classworks from exercise 7.2 question number one question number two question number three and question number five you try all the exercises because i have done uh, one exercise from each of the question hope it will help you to solve the um, problems this is all for the day have a great day ahead